Greetings from the Biostock studio here at Medicom Village in Lund. Today we are taking a closer look at Scandion Oncology, a Danish biotech company that is developing drugs aimed at counteracting cancer drug resistance. Their top candidate, SCO101, is in phase two clinical trials with metastatic colorectal cancer patients. And as the study progresses, the company is entering a new phase in its development program. In light of this, Scandion Oncology has appointed Buro de Hansen as CEO and Niels Brunner as CSO to strengthen its executive leadership. I'm joined by both Boo and Niels in the studio today. Welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. So Boo, it's nice meeting you. Um, and uh, you have enormous experience within international pharma and biotech. And I'm wondering uh, what brings you to Scanion and what is your vision for the company? Well, I mean, first of all, let me say that I always felt strongly around making a difference for patients. Um, that sprouted my interest into studying science and entering this field. Now, in a, I'm bringing a couple of decades of experience to Scandian from international uh, life science and pharma, from different leadership roles and executive roles. I was an executive in the Danish biotech company, Centaurus Pharma, that we sold to Roche. I continued in, in Roche as a general manager and also in the international organization as a global head. And uh, most recently, I come from a position as CEO of uh, Genovan Sciences, a US-based uh, biotech company in Boston. So taken together, and that's a snippet of my experience, it actually complements well the existing team at, uh, at Scandion with uh, experience in corporate development, business development, finance, and uh, R&D strategy so that we can take Scandion to the next level. So my next question is, uh, why is this uh, change in executive leadership coming at this moment for Scandian Oncology? Well, I think, first of all, it's a, it's, it's a tribute to um, the achievements that Scandian has, has done so far. And this is the executive team and the board that has brought Scandian to a clinical stage biotech company and now needs to develop the company further into the next phase of corporate development and, and uh, really building a biopharmaceutical company. Mm -hmm. Let me say that um, originally I was a bit reluctant when, uh, when uh, Peter Hunko Andersen, the chairman of the company, reached out. Um, I wasn't really uh, in, in uh, looking for this next endeavor, but when he portrayed the vision of building, uh, becoming a company uh, in, uh, in the oncology uh, treatment resistance, my in interest was really sprouted. And um, I think that uh, then talking to Niels Brunner, the CEO at the time, on the, on the data that was coming out of the first clinical trials, I really see the potential here. I mean, bear in mind that oncology and especially, especially metastatic cancer is still a major unmet need. The focus is very much on novel medicines for, for cancer, but most patients uh, in metastatic cancer end up on uh, chemotherapy and end up in resistance. So the potential is huge. And here Scandian's vision on building a pipeline of novel drugs is really making fit in a, in a major unmet need. And when we're talking about uh, building a pipeline, this is one of the things that we're going to do in the company. So SEO 101 is our first candidate right now being tried in colorectal cancer. Uh, soon we will have the regulatory approval to start the second trial in pancreatic cancer. But we are also building a pipeline of drugs. And I envision that over the coming years, we will uh, also enter partnerships with big players in the pharma world that will use Scandian's drugs in combination with their cancer therapies in the pursuit to really combat treatment-resistant cancer. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that brings me, you mentioned partnerships. Um, you've also had several collaborations, or Scandion has already had several collaborations within academia as well. And I'm wondering if uh, uh, further collaborations within academia are, uh, are going to be in the cards. Yeah, I mean, besides from what we're going to pursue in terms of uh, striking uh, partnerships and deals with, uh, with pharma over the next, let's say, 12 to 18 months, we'll probably be in, in, in good conversations there. We will also continue to embed ourselves in the academic environment, both locally, but also on the, on the global scale to make sure that we continue the pursuit of the vision of the company of becoming the uh, oncology treatment resistant 
company mm -hmm. on this planet. Great. Well, thanks. And uh, Niels, I'd like to turn to you now and uh, and ask you: Are you uh, heading into retirement, or what, what's <laughs> going on with you? I hope not. <laughs> That's a good question. No, I'm not. Um, actually, uh, I'll be as busy as I've been before, but I'll just be able to put more efforts into, uh, especially the clinical development that is so important for Scandinavian oncology right now. But also, as um, Bo talked about, our pipeline makes sure that it's coming smooth into uh, the company so we can again fulfill our vision. So no, it's a 24-7 job to run clinical trials. It's human beings. Uh, they are sick. So yes, I'll be busy. I'll not retire. <laughs> That's good to know. Well, uh, thank you so much uh, for giving us both your uh, impressions and uh, uh, this new development phase for Scandian Oncology. And it's going to be exciting to follow you in the coming months. So thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you.